Okay, we're with uh, Peter Barry at Jim Barry Wines. Peter, I'm just going to ask you a question. We've just been talking about your background in the Clare and we're talking about experience and the science of wine, that you're a man of the soil. Um, tell me, uh, using the science of wine and all of the experience that you've got, do you still think um, wine is just based on science or is there some intuition and gut feel that you employ? I know what wine's an art. Uh, science helps you improve the understanding of the science helps you improve your wine making and the quality of wine that you make. But wine, wine making is an art and it's a feel and you've got to have an understanding. But being a, having a, an interest in science, you can assess and make uh, and record the wines that you make every year and learn from those wines. So there's a lesson in wine making every year, but there's only one lesson every year. So you've got to pay a lot of attention to your own lesson Make sure you learn from your lesson, look at the wines when they age, as we do with an extensive cellar, opening wines that are 20 and 30 years old and 5 years old, and 2 years old and 1 year old and learning. And then from that knowledge, with whatever the season dishes you up, you can adjust. But I don't think I've had two seasons the same in 30 years. Mm. And they're really difficult seasons we've never seen before. The difficult seasons that's dished up to us We've never seen anything identical before when we look back in 30 years of records. There's never two difficult ones the same. Absolutely. So you never really learn the lesson of a really difficult year. You can only learn the intuition. And that's the art. So what do you think it takes to be a great winemaker? Oh, the ability to not mind work. If you're not prepared to work and spend time, you're not going to be a great winemaker. And I've got a feeling that... It may not be shared by all, but you know, if you, 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 know, you understand nature if you're living with nature in the country every day of your life. And I've got uh, four turkeys sitting on eggs at the moment and this and that. And so you're automatically outside with nature every day and you see things <laughs> and you watch things and you see things and uh, you're not just having a visit. So what about an inquiring mind? Is that something you need to be a great winemaker? Yeah, you could have an open mind, an open inquiring mind. Um, it's, too, it's too easy for some to have a resolution to explain what has happened without assessing all the facts. Jumping to a conclusion is what people call it. So you've got to be not have a conclusion. You must assess all the facts and look at the facts and look at all of the facts and then assess what affected. So you discount things that didn't affect it and then you, then you then can you move can come forward. to a conclusion. And then you can come to your first conclusion and then you continue to assess and think about it. And uh, So you're obviously uh, inspired by nature and your vineyards and what happens in them every year. Well, my father today, my, fa my father died six years ago today. Oh, so it's an emotional Pete. day for us. Oh. And he had a great, uh, he had an inquiring mind and he passed that on to the, um, uh, to keep assessing. Uh, and, uh, and it can be hard on yourself to continually assess, but you've just got to keep assessing. Are you ever satisfied? Oh, no. You can be very proud. You can be very proud of what you've uh, achieved and the wines that you've made. But that's not satisfaction. Because we're only, every, every time we make vintage, we're only nine months away from our next opportunity to improve. So you can never really be satisfied, but you can be very proud of what you achieve. And As a winemaker, you can never be satisfied. You'd have to be striving till the day you died, uh, wondering whether there's a bit of information that may have slipped through or you could have changed right. something or could have improved something. So satisfaction, I don't think, is something you can get. You get um, satisfaction through being proud of what you achieve, but total satisfaction and saying, well, that's the best wine or I'll never make a greater wine or I'll never improve on it. No, you... Uh, never. No, never. So you're a tough taskmaster with those boys of yours coming through? Oh, with everybody that works alongside me and with, with me. And, uh, yeah, 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 I am. I am, but I had a... But that uh, makes life easy if you don't mind work.
<laughs> the rest of life is easy. If you fight work, you're never going to enjoy life. Well, you never have a quality life if you fight work. If you enjoy work, you'll have a quality life. It doesn't matter what you do. Good. I'm going to take that on board. Yeah. Thanks, Pete. <laughs> Thank you.